everyone, it's Emma, and today I am going to be doing a video talking about my goals for this year, 2020. I wrote down a bunch of my goals that I want to make happen in this notebook. I'm just going to talk about a few things that I want to make happen this year. Let's get into this video. And I wrote it in blue because the color of the year is actually blue. I wrote my goals in blue, so a little good luck maybe? I don't really know. My first goal for the year 2020 is to be more productive and motivated. I am a very, I'm a very motivated person when it comes to something that I'm passionate about, but when it comes to something that I don't really want to do, I'm not very motivated. Like, I love laying in my bed and I'll lay in my bed all day, but if I like know that I should get up and like go work out or go do something productive, I'm not a very motivated person. So that's why I said be more productive and motivated because I want to be motivated to be productive, if that makes sense, because I'm very good at wasting my time and I don't want to do that this year. So that's my first one. My second goal is to be healthier. A lot of people try to make New Year's resolutions about working out, eating healthy, all that kind of stuff. I try to do that every year, but it never happens. I always fail. And so I didn't want to write down, work out more, eat better, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to try to be a healthier person like instead of sleeping till one and then getting up and doing nothing with my day i want to get up a little bit earlier and then like maybe work out and if i don't work out do something productive go outside eat a little bit better i'm not saying like salads go vegan all that kind of stuff but like um if i do eat something that's not very good for me eat smaller portions of it and all that kind of stuff nothing too crazy because i know that I'm not the type of person that can just go all in on something like that. I have to take it step by step, if you know what I mean. My next goal is to be consistent with YouTube and work hard on it because I am very close to hitting my goal of my watch hours. I want to be more consistent because I know that YouTube looks at that for their algorithm. It's like being more consistent interacting with your followers or subscribers and your watch hours and so I want to be more consistent so the algorithm sees that I post on certain days I want to try to post twice a week and yeah I just want to be more consistent and I want to work really hard with it I want to upload videos that I really like and that I am proud of last year 2019 I got my Canon G7X that was my big purchase for YouTube and this year I would like to purchase Final Cut Pro. I edit on iMovie right now, and I would really like to start editing on Final Cut Pro, but I don't wanna do that until, saying this stuff sounds like I only care, care about getting paid, but I mean, that would be nice, but um, that's not the only thing I'm worried about. Like I love doing YouTube because I love filming videos and I love putting them out for you guys, but I'm just saying this because this is like the way that I've set my goals. So like my G7X was just something random. Like I really just wanted it. I didn't have any goals set for it. Um, I just told myself that if I got it, I would work really hard on YouTube. And so now I am setting goals before I make big purchases. And so like before I get Final Cut Pro, cause it's like $300, I want to be able to get my videos monetized. That's just like the way that, I set, that I've set my goals up in my head is that I want to hit the 4,000 watch hours and I already hit the thousand subscribers and I want to be accepted into the AdSense program. I want to be able to get my videos monetized before I make another big purchase for my YouTube channel because I don't want to put money into something and then it like fail, you know? Like if I'm not going to go anywhere with YouTube, I don't want to make another huge purchase because my G7X was a big purchase, which I'm not upset about it. I love my G7X, but I don't want to make another huge purchase until I hit that goal, if that makes any sense. I just want to be more consistent, work harder, uh, get myself up there in the YouTube community, hopefully. I want to travel more. I have a little page of places that I want to travel in 2020. Um, and the ones that I have written down are California, New York, North Carolina, Florida, and then Mexico, possibly. 
Mexico probably won't happen this year. That one's more of like a long-term goal of traveling. There are many places that I have long-term goals of traveling, but this year I wanna to go to California, New York, North Carolina, and Florida. I know for sure that California is gonna happen because um, we're going to California for my dance nationals at the end of February, so very soon. So I know that one's gonna happen. I know North Carolina is gonna happen because my best friend is getting married this year and she lives in North Carolina. So I know I'll be going there. Hopefully New York happens because I've already asked to go to New York for my birthday next year because I'll be turning 21 and I wanna go watch the ball drop in New York. So hopefully that one happens. And then Florida's just like a little fun thing that maybe I could do this summer with my friends, take a road trip down and like stay at a beach house or something. I don't know, that means I have to work really hard at work and make a lot of money, you know? But I want to travel more. I love traveling. Traveling is so much fun. Um, getting out of this small town that I live in is so much fun. Uh, so yeah, another goal of mine is to travel more. Even if it's like nowhere, like crazy far. Kind of tying into that one, I want to save my money slash manage my money better. I'm the type of person who like hoards money. Like I will like get a whole bunch of money and then I'll just blow it all but I want to work on managing my money better. So hoarding my money is a good thing, keeping it, but then I want to like split it up into things that I really need to pay for. Save some money, like I can spend a little bit, but not all my money. I don't wanna be the type of person who just blows it all anymore. I want to manage it a little bit better. I have written down the year of yes. So I wanna take more opportunities that I'm given. I'm pretty good about taking opportunities. I'm pretty good about saying yes. I'm also very good about saying no. I know how to say no to people. That's typically with things that I don't wanna do though. I wanna make this the year of yes. If someone asks me if I wanna go on a road trip randomly, I wanna say yes. If someone asks me if I wanna go to the city randomly, I wanna say yes, all that kind of stuff. I just wanna adventure a lot more and do a lot more things this year. Have a very fun year. My next one is less screen time. I want to have my screen time on my phone down this year because I know this year it's been an average of like five or six hours per day a week, which is a lot of time. That's like 35 hours in a week on my phone, at least. And that's a waste of time. I don't want to do that anymore. Some of these are like very serious goals as you've seen and some of these are very silly goals. This next one's kind of silly. I want to collect more cool clothes. <laughs> um, I know it sounds funny, but I am the type of person who buys lots of basics and I don't wanna do that this year. I'm already in college, I'm a sophomore in college if you didn't know that, but next year I'm going to be going to cosmetology school in another college town near me. So I'll be in a college town, but I'll be going to cosmetology school if that makes any sense. Some of my friends go to this college. And so like we'll be going out to parties, to clubs, all that kind of stuff. And I never have anything cool to wear. If you know what I mean, if you're my age, you know that you want cool outfits to wear to go out and I never have anything to wear. And so this year I want to collect more cool clothes. I want to stop buying basics. I want to buy things that I could wear out clubbing or to parties or something like that. And yeah, I just wanna buy more cool clothes instead of buying basic boring stuff. The next one is I want to research into more of the business side of YouTube. I've been doing that a little bit this year, but I know that you can like get a manager and like go to events and all that kind of stuff. I wanna look more into that. So like one day if I do get big enough to have a manager and all that kind of stuff, I kind of already know what I'm going into, what I'm getting myself into. I just want to learn more about that, like more about the analytics of YouTube, the algorithm, just the business side of YouTube. I want to research more into that so I actually know what I'm doing instead of just like posting a video for fun and then like never knowing like what's happening on the business side, you know? I just think it's very important to if I'm serious about this to make it a business, you know? I just want to make myself more knowledgeable about the business side of all of this. This next one is a silly one. I wanna meet someone famous. I have been to New York and California, LA, both of them, and I've never seen a famous person. Well, we went to the playground, it's a dance studio, and um, I saw famous dancers there, so that was really cool for me because I'm a dancer and so I thought it was awesome. Like dancers that I've seen on like, so I think you can dance or like YouTube videos from Millennium or um, the playground and all that kind of stuff. So it was really cool to meet them. Oh, I didn't really meet them, I just saw them. It was really cool to see them. If you guys know who Shaden from 
Sigmund Hyun Dance Juniors is. I saw him at the playground. I took a class with him. It was one of Kenny Wormald's class. Kenny owns the studio. I've taken class from him multiple times at like conventions and stuff, but that was my first time taking a class from him at his studio. But I took a class with Shaden. And then we went to the Grove and we went to the movies and we saw Shaden at the movie theater again. It was super weird to like see him two times in one week, but it was awesome. So yeah, I just want to meet a famous person or like see a famous person. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. My next goal is to pay a lot on my car. So I pay $300 a month on my car. That's my car payment. But I would like to pay a little bit more at a time whenever I can so I can get it paid off faster. I don't want to have to be paying on it for like six years. So whenever I do have extra cash, I want to pay a little bit more on it each month than just my normal car payment. My next goal is a YouTube goal. I want to reach at least 5k. Big goal would be 10k. That would be awesome. But like minimum goal 5k, I want to reach at least 5k subscribers. 5k, 10k, I just want to reach a higher amount of subscribers this year. Another goal is to move out of my house, which will be happening. So it's a goal that I already know is going to happen, but it's just a goal. I will be moving out to that other town I was talking about for cosmetology school. And I plan on living with a few, a few friends and I'm really, really excited. I want to research more into different ways to edit. Like I said earlier, I'd like to buy Final Cut Pro this year. So I wanna learn how to edit on that. But I also, in the meantime, wanna learn some cool new ways to edit on iMovie. I research that all the time, like when I'm editing a video, if I see a way that someone's edited their video, I try to go recreate it on my video. I just really like always finding new ways to edit, and so I want to find more cool ways to edit my videos. This goal is another goal that I already know will happen. Some of these that I wrote down obviously are goals that I know for a fact are going to happen, but I just wanted to write them down to like be able to look forward to them. Graduate from my college, which it's just a JUCO, so it's two years graduate with my associate's degree, and then start cosmetology school, which will all happen this year. But I'm really excited for it, so I wrote it down. <laughs> I wanna start reading the Bible more and getting closer to God. I've always been a very religious person, but I'm not very good about reading my Bible and working on my faith and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna start doing that more. This one's silly, but it's actually a pretty big thing for me. I'm really bad about picking at my face. If I see a pimple, I'm gonna pop it. <laughs> if I see a black head, I'm gonna pop it. If I see a white head, I'm gonna pop it. Um, I'm just really bad about picking at my face and touching my face and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna stop doing that because I know it's not good for me. I know it's not good for my face. And if I'm gonna be a cosmetologist, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell people to stop picking at their face. And I don't wanna tell them that and then also still pick at my face. So I need to stop doing that. I need to stop making the habit of doing that. It's really bad. Um, these last two are also just kind of silly ones, but they're things that I want to do this year. We have an amusement park around where near I live. It's in Kansas City. It's called Worlds of Fun. And I want to go to Worlds of Fun this summer because last summer I wanted to go to Worlds of Fun so bad and I never found the time and I never found anyone to go with me. So this summer I want to go to Worlds of Fun because it's so much fun. I love roller coasters and I love amusement parks. So I want to go there. And then I also just want to go to a lake. One of my friends has a lake house and we plan on going there for spring break. So hopefully that happens because I love being on the lake. Okay, so obviously this is a different angle, but I actually just thought of another goal. So this year I want to try to be more positive because I'm a really, I'm really bad about if I don't want to do something, I have a really negative attitude about it. So I want to try to be more positive, think positively, go into things with positive thoughts positive actions and hopefully it'll make the outcome positive i just thought about that and i was like wow that really should have been one of my goals because sometimes i can be a very negative person and i don't want to do that this year i want to be more positive it is time to announce our giveaway winner i put on a giveaway in my what i got for christmas video i'm giving away um some makeup products and so now it is time for me to announce that winner the winner is <laughs> I will DM you. You have 24 hours to respond, and if you don't, I will pick another winner. Congratulations. Also, I'm gonna start doing um, video shoutouts again. So this video shoutout is going to go to... Kelsey Reyes. I see you, girl. You're commenting on all my stuff. Thank you so much for the support. I love it. Thank you. I see you on all my platforms. You're the best. 
wanted to shout you out so if you want to be next video shout out make sure to comment below go comment on my instagram go follow me on everything all my social medias are down below that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so so much and i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.